Hey guys, Spartan here. Welcome back to Backpack Hero. So this is an update, definitely. I don't know exactly what's in it. Is that is that louder than normal? That sounds louder. Hang on. Did uh, the audio didn't change since last time? I guess the main menu is just a bit louder. But yeah, uh, this was originally going to be the town update, but it's not because they're still working on. Oh my god, that shield just flew away. Anyway, uh. There was a few changes. I don't exactly know what though, I'm kind of going into blind because uh, I kind of want to in case there's anything I'm shocked to see and I want to be able to uh, just adapt. So there's like a sound when you click buttons now. That's a thing, definitely. I'm playing as this palette. I clicked standard before. Like, I did a- I wouldn't even call it a test run, uh, I did a test to see if anything was actually different in this update, because there have been updates that have just had nothing. Uh, I clicked standard and it took me to, uh, Matthew instead. So, I don't know if that's a bug or if Matthew just normally spawns. <clears throat> voice crack, Jesus. Uh, it is very early in the morning. So, Matthew is here, I guess, and, uh, he can offer you a relic. So, Matthew has always been a thing, ever since, like, even early access, like, you can, uh... Even, like, the... the itch.io or whatever it is version that you can play on the browser that's, like, super outdated, even that had Matthew. You just had to hit M instead of, uh, click start run, and, uh, you could start with him. But, yeah, you can get a common item set, a relic, or a rare item, so, uh, I'm gonna choose relic. So I stopped my fake run after clicking get a relic because I wanted to test it and I got windmill which has been changed again. And it's alloy. If you would take five or less damage, reduce damage to one. Okay, so alloy has changed. <laughs> uh, it used to be a armor gains plus three block for each adjacent gem. It was basically the, uh, the parallel of the ore. But I'm guessing that that was not interesting enough, so now it's just Tori from uh, Slay the Spire. Thus proving that every game is a ripoff of Slay the Spire. At the end of this video, I'm going to go into the index here and take a look at stuff, but yeah. I feel like I don't need to... Uh... Oh hey, the corridor's different. Yeah, I feel like I don't need to do that yet, since there's plenty of items to discover. I should have checked the starting items to see if they were any different. Like, I've seen this sword and this food item so much. Like, I know uh, off back of my head what it is. Easy first uh, experience. Where's the level up button? Okay, there it is. I had to move first. All right. It's a new sound as well. If you'd ask me what I level up in the start of the game originally, uh, I'd usually choose this one, this one, this one, and this one. But I have grown, and I know that this one is actually the correct play, because it allows you to fit a shield and a main piece of armor. Cards of Doom. Oh, okay, great. Curse already. Take these, because they're not good, but... Oh yeah, I need to finish my thing. I could use this to take one damage instead. It is a... a not better deal. So I'll leave that, no, no, just... I know getting cursed right off the bat is really bad. But still. Okay, so... I probably just want to gun it here. New sound effects. Yeah, I don't care if I take some damage, it's like early in the run. And I can easily deal this amount of damage. This is not a good item to start off with, by the way, the, the wizard robe. Reversal amulet. For each hazard in this row, adjacent weapons gain plus one damage. <coughs> Curses aren't hazards, are they? No. Rough weapons. On use, adjacent weapons get plus three damage this turn. That's really bad. Unless you're running like maybe shiv builds, but yeah. H shield is kind of trash, but I'll take it regardless. Yeah, costing energy and doing that is like, yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, uh, I'll take a mana stone. <laughs> I usually just don't take mana stones. I've grown bad about that. There's a lantern. I can use that. The other weapon's two spaces away. Get plus three damage this turn. Yeah, it's still absolute garbage. Take the stupid uh, sweaty towel, despite the fact that it is god awful. Merely so I can uh, keep the lantern with me and just not lose other junk. Yeah. Let's use the Ring of Rage. Easy first kill. No damage. Oh yeah, I've got the I've got the wizard's robe. I forget that wizard's robe actually does something. It adds mana to your mana network. Shoe hat. Has this been uh, changed? Nope, completely the same. All right. Well, I actually don't want the wizard robe. What is this wooden knife? If there's a shield to the right, plus two damage. Okay, I guess it's a wooden sword that uh, if you have a shield to the right, it does more damage. I could probably use that. Let's try it out. That's a shield. It's adjacent and diagonal armor. It doesn't have to be straight right, is it? No, it doesn't. Okay. Ah! Right. Do that. Got another ring of rage there. Right, so this does 8 damage. I need to remember to actually use this thing. I could, in theory, just take the dynamite and then uh, blow this up, but such is not the way of me. All right, so I gain five, seven block per turn, and I deal decent enough damage. Yep, seems fine. Uh, boss is the Hawk Knight. Probably the more annoying Region 1 boss. Let me take a sip of my tea. That loading screen was a bit longer than normal. I guess it's to be expected as the game's getting bigger. <coughs> well, that's a kunai. Minute hand. Weapons this points to get plus two damage. Turns clockwise. Well, okay. It sounds it sounds very weird, but fun. Uh, do I throw out the lantern to try it out? I actually, I don't have enough room. Oh, it's a one space thing. Yeah, I can get plus uh, two damage on the first turn. Shurikens and ancient adjacent spaces. Hmm. Did this get changed? No. No, it's still bad. Alright. Uh, yeah, I'll just put that there. Because it's not a two-sizer. The shuriken was also a pretty good pick, but... Spin the choice. I, I want to level up first. I need more space. Alright. Ring of Rage. Two. Damn, that does... Wait. Oh, that does all of them. Jesus, that's actually a lot better than I thought it would. Thought it was. Well, I gotta wait another half hour for that to uh, activate, though. <clears throat> <clears throat> Just slightly congested this morning. Such is the folly of my uh, sleep schedule causing me a myriad of issues. Yeah, I did one damage. Uh, I gotta make space. I'm gonna do this in case I get the uh, violet energy, which is something you should always play around, by the way. Damage knife is still the same. That's still the same. It's still the same. Completely unchanged. Alright, well, I'll just refresh the lantern. 
haven't seen many uh, chests recently. I say that as there's a chest right here. Mechanized toy. And I've never... I've just never used this item. It is way too clunky. Alright. Left gauntlet. That is actually incredible with uh, the way that I've just built my inventory. It's a free spinner. God damn it. The game is rigged. Fuck you, Mole Man. This is why no one's gay for Mole Man. <laughs> I'd actually consider doing that, but I don't have any gold. <laughs> I spent it all on a Mole Man's minigame. I swear I'm doing a bit less damage than I did last time. Maybe I just have dementia. That's always a possibility. But yeah, I need to find something to start scaling my luck. That's just how you win this game. I really should click a uh, use item max times. Coal! Uh, well, not actually particularly good, it sells for a bunch. Acidic Potion is still, uh... Pretty good. Uh, there's a Rat King Sable encounter. I really don't want to have to do that, but... I, I need to reach the store. Archangel Wings. Unchanged, but still uh, very good. What is this? Spade Cleaver. Okay, it looks a, a lot different than it did before. Alright. Coal as uh, overpowered as it can be. I don't see it actually, uh, you know, helping. Do I get the emerald? The emerald uh, is potentially good. It's a gemstone. Its effect is going to be consistent. Plus two damage early on is pretty good as well. I really want to buy the Archangel Wings, but uh, emeralds may help me with this one encounter that I'm going to be doing here. Right. Oh, it's... Uh... I think this guy randomly either does attack or block. I need to uh, prevent Rat King from uh, spawning. Well, I can kill the Sable next turn, which is the actually biggest threat of this fight. I only take one damage here, right? That's four block left. And then, uh, goes down to five. So, yes. Thank you, Tori. I will not pretend you are anything else. Eh, yeah, just kill the Rat King now. There's no reason to uh, not kill it. Someone has pinged me on Discord. Who is it? Eh, yeah, it doesn't matter. So, uh, on an unrelated note to anything, this is uh, video 999 that's going to be going up on the channel. I just thought you'd like to know. This is a momentous occasion. What was that? Hard hat. For each hazard below. <laughs> they really should buff the leather boots, because they're just worse than the shoe hat. Shoe hat is more flexible, if nothing else. Poultice will uh, take that. It's an easy 20 point heal. Yeah, take that too. Right. What's this? This is a uh, three max health. It's a forge. Add rage to melee weapon. That would be really good if I had any uh, long lasting melee weapons. I didn't know purple snails could spawn here. Oh, yes, I did. Never mind. I'm mistaking them with a different enemy. 
Do I waste the shuriken? Yeah, I'll use it later. Mm. I forgot to change my minute hand. I could have uh, alpha striked the damn thing. Explosive. When destroyed, deal 20 damage to all enemies. It doesn't have an on use though, so it's, it's kind of cool, I guess. Brutal Spear. This does 7 damage. But it only takes up one space. I will consider that. Consider, not consider. Consider is not a word. Actually, the hard hat would give me a 3 block a turn. Maybe I should just get rid of the stupid Ring of Rage. It's causing me to take mana stones, and I don't like mana stones. Yeah, I'd rather have the money. Won't take any more items, alright. I... If I... If I need to find something that I can use the Archangel Wings with. I've got, like, one less last encounter. I'm actually hoping to take a little bit of damage here. Not too much, though. I forgot to move the fucking minute hand again. I... It's a new item. You can't blame me. I mean, you can blame me, but... So, half of my health is, uh... 21, if we are rounding downwards. Which I think we are. Who is we? A uh, person and I. Okay, this it's new. Tragic comedy shield. What does this do? I guess this changes from a, a weapon to uh, an attack or whatever. There's a dice. Yes, a dice. Right. I got greaves, so I'm going to use those, obviously. Uh, make shoe hat become a shoe. I mean, a hat. That doesn't work because it's not at the top layer. Oh, this is adjacent and diagonal, so I can do, uh, this. <laughs> Looks very janky, but it works. Oh, but then again... It means the wooden knife is... Which gives more? 12 damage, 12 damage... Okay, gives the exact same. Wait, really? Adjacent weapons get plus one damage. Oh yeah, the, the bronze breastplate is also giving it a buff. Actually, I can do that. Takes up to 13. 3 plays 3. Right. Well, this minute hand is not as good as I thought it was. So I will, uh, thusly ignore it. Man, look at all this garbage I have. What is this? This is a diamond cleaver. You know what? I thought this was a 2x2, a two two, but it's not. I'm guessing this just switches to a weapon, yeah. Right. That does 6, that does 5. Really? That does less? Eh. It's the power of the Greaves is uh, great indeed. Yeah, I'll take this to use on the boss. But hey, uh, at least I got a good piece of armor. Despite the fact it takes up like a million spaces. This is perhaps the least organized my inventory has been in uh, 20,000 years. So, what do we have again? Energy to clothing. That could be good, but I don't want to run bronze breastplate for the entire run. And I sure as shit aren't putting rage on any of this. Alright. Uh, I guess I'll dump some money into uh, Expedition Man. 30 gold into finding a uh, weapon. That should give me a uh, legendary weapon. At some point. Okay, let me check this ping. Who is it? It's Random Game Critic, and he's saying, Do not fist ro android girls. 
Okay, thank you, Random Game Critic. Go subscribe to Random Game Critic. I don't watch his videos, but he's just a friend of mine, so, uh... Yeah. Yeah, this is why, uh, Hawk Knight is probably the most annoying. Does Hawk Knight still curse you? I don't actually remember. I'm gonna try out this thing. Okay, yeah, she, it does. I kind of want to test this thing out, but at the same time, I don't want to be cursed. Okay. Can be used one time each combat. Adds one sleep to all enemies. Uh, sleep is passing turns, so stopwatch has been reworked once again, it seems. This is very, uh... It's not bad, but it is confusing. I guess it has synergy with anything that scales on its own. Just bang my fucking leg against the wall. I guess you could use this with coal as well to instantly stunlock something as long as you had uh, more than three energy. Spicy Ginger, you cannot place items of the same type next to each other. Each turn adds one energy. So that means you cannot place armor next to armor. There's a reverse challenge. Reduce the cost of all adjacent items to zero energy. Disable for one turns. Items? This used to be just weapons. If this is all items, that's actually pretty good. If you have... I mean, if you could take stopwatch with the spring gem, and then you had like a lump of coal. Too bad I uh, threw it out, and too bad I can't take both. Let's reroll. I want to see uh, what else we got. That's new. Loot box. When an item is destroyed, create a new item of the same size. Disable for one turns. Imitation is not the sincerest form of flattery. This is the Overwatch loot box, isn't it? <laughs> Very janky. Cannot be rotated. All items cannot be rotated. Each turn adds one energy. If you do not use a weapon last turn, it adds one energy. So if I do this... Yeah. Okay, I guess you just cannot use the, uh... The hat form of shoe hat. That's it. That's definitely interesting. I can work with this. It's uh, far from convenient, but not being able to rotate isn't that big of a downside. Look at how glowy the loot box is, Jesus, like, y'all not particle effects? The tusk has no particle effects. All right, let's go. Let's get my, uh... Man, they make cleanse all curses more expensive. Shit. Give me the max health. Did not actually get to use the poultice, but... yeah. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Oh yeah, let's pay for a long, like, huge scavenge. First chest after that. First loot after that. Jagged Blade. Jagged Blade is like one of the best items in the game, by the way, in case you're not, uh... Not up to date with Backpack Hero Meta, which is not actually a thing, but I can pretend it is. It's a Shuriken Forge. Uh... I do kind of need the shield. Or I could just go full armor. In theory. Like, Liquid Armor is, uh, pretty good for just stalling. And throw out the small key. Like, listen, I've got the alloy to help me, in theory. I've got the poultice to uh, heal me if I get too low. And I've got a liquid armor to buffer my health. Yeah, the more damage I throw into this uh, jagged blade, the better. So, deep cave. Looks like a deep cave. Enchanted swamp. I was originally going to do a Backpack Hero Guide video, but uh, I didn't want to actually do that before the game was out. That's what I decided, really, forcing me to choose between him and that. But yeah, I didn't want to do it before the game launched. 
into like fully finished mode. So I decided against it. But one of the things I was uh, saying in that video was if you have good AoE damage, you go here. If you do not have good AoE damage, you go to the other place. I can take a little bit of damage here. Easy. Shuriken. The Dark Bramble. Have any of these been changed? Uh, it's the same. Spoiled Milk is the uh, same as well. It's nothing good. Alright. Merchant Man, you got anything good? I'm gonna sell the Shuriken Forge, because it's just there for money. I need money, Arthur. I've never actually played uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. I kind of want to, but I hear it has its own launcher, which is fucking annoying. Alright. I'm ready to get cursed. I really do not like this enemy. Alright, three spaces. It's a damn shame I can't rotate because of the earth, the goddamn jagged blade here is a, a real nuisance to deal with. I should probably just do this. It guts uh, one damage off the jagged blade, but it gives me a whole bunch more armor. Jason melee weapons get plus one damage. not actually that big of a downside. This isn't heavy, is it? No, it's not heavy. Heavy is... No. We'll not imitate the heavy from Heavy Team Fortress 2. Alright, so I gain 4, 8, 12... 14 per turn. Make sure you have enough room to use them. Yeah, enough fucking room. Impossible. I can take one damage per turn for a, a little bit of extra damage. I wish I could take this to sell it, but it's gonna be impossible with the tusk. Can I? Okay, no, that's not the case. Eh, I'll take the golden blade with me. I'd rather have golds than a. Uh... A thing. Max health. Since those actually heal me, it's like causing me to lose uh, reach. Not reach, what's the word? It's gonna make it harder for me to uh, use the poultice. Alright, time to get like three legendary weapons from this dude. Wow, okay, I only got one, the Lizard King Sword. Hmm. Well, uh, I'm gonna sell that. Won't make back my money. I, I really hate this item, just on the look. Wasn't this a two-space item before? I, I don't know. It's just too bloody... It's too big. Does this change? No, I think I, I think Berserker's Club has stayed the same consistently throughout the years. My sword still has zero forge slots. Jason weapons get minus one to their cost. Unfortunately, uh, I have not ever managed to find a good build for the Lizard King sword. Like this, this weapon in theory could be really good, but it's just you need a lot of uh, high cost weapons. Got anything worth buying? A little lantern for six. Oh, and I can put this here. Because, uh, armor checks from top to bottom. Or, like, all items check from top to bottom, then left to right. So, bronze breastplate will activate and give me blocks, so I won't take damage. 
And if I have any on uh, on take damage, do stuff, I can work with that. Uh, yes, responding to that one guy who uh, tagged me in a video. Yeah. Also, I don't get tags. Like, I have to manually check those. I don't get, like, a notification. So, uh, if you tag me in anything, there's, like, no chance I actually see it. It's like an acidic potion. This jagged blade is, uh, taking up too much space. This would, uh, take me down to 26, which is not half. I'm gonna get more curses here, I'm- I just know it. That's good. Rapier is- okay, that's also good. I don't want the homework. But uh, yeah, the smoke dagger is pretty good. Doing seven damage twice for free. Hell of an economy turn. I'd love to take the rapier with me, but I really don't even have anything else I could throw out. I could throw out the alloy, it's kind of been underperforming. But yeah. I, I see a lot of uh Actually, can I use the the merchant that gives that 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 rat thing, the not the rat, the bat that just takes my health and gives me potions with that. If so, that could be really good. Alright, so that does 12. Which means I can kill with a double tap here. Man, if this did one more damage, I could have uh, killed everything this turn. Use the oh! I was gonna say I should use the liquid lock, and then Baba Gaboosh, the lucky shiv appears. All right, put that there. Six damage. This thing just has so many forge slots for some reason. I don't know why. I mean, it makes it good, but I, I'm confused. Verily, come on, where's my uh, rage? Can you forge this? No. It'd be funny if you could forge the cursed item. Honestly, probably wouldn't be the worst thing. That does 12. I gotta do uh, advanced mathematics every time I uh, lay the smack down. I kinda wanna save this in case I have a dice. I feel like they should change it from dice to die. Because it is grammatically correct. As a club cleaver. Queen cleaver sells for a bunch. Let's uh, cleanse this. I know I said I wanted more damage, and that's technically me losing one damage, but... But shut up. Don't question me. Don't cross me again. Let's see if this glitch still works. Yeah, okay, yes, it does work. Uh, what glitch am I talking about? The fact that you can uh, make sure that elites don't actually follow you. I, I just want to kill this fucking lizard as soon as possible. My priority is just get that fucking guy right now. Fishing hook. Fishing rhyme, fishing rhyme, seeing helps me pass the time. Fishing hook is uh, actually a carry in. Uh... What was that mode? Uh, I don't remember. Damn! If only I still had the uh, the beast's ring. Mr. Beast. Okay. That gives me damage because it's an armor piece. So I will obviously take it. It also gives a uh, nine block because of the way I built my inventory. I think that's all I need right now. King shield would be nice, but. I don't find myself needing block. I've just got so much overwhelming offense. Nah, I'm not gonna bother with uh, generating luck here. Uh, the Jagged Blade is a very good item, by the way, in case you haven't figured it out. The question is, what? where do I want to put my other spaces? 
Put them here. Yeah, I'll do that in case I get helmets and stuff like that. There's a pacifist ring. That's actually very good because I can sell it instantly. Oh, I can still take an item. Uh... Yeah, sure. I'll take the disgusting food and, like, throw it out immediately. But yeah, I can easily buy the King's Shield now. Do I, though? Do I? What is this fight? Oh, it's the Seer. I mean, King's Shield is a pretty good, uh, pretty good thing. What does the Forge have? Oh, by the way, if you didn't do the glitch I was thinking of, then, like, the Elite would easily follow you, but it didn't. Block to a shield. Okay, no, that's, that's not good. Not good enough, at least. Right. Smoke dagger. Why is there a delay after I use it? Is that just a, a thing that Jagged Blade does because it needs to check if anything died? That would make sense, but I have uh, animation speed set to maximum. Okay, yeah, that does one damage to me. Absolutely nothing. There was a flash of white there. There's some tea. I'll take that merely for, uh... Well, actually, no real particular reason. There's a small key. Just because I have my uh, cup of tea here. It's, it's probably gone cold because... Reasons. Is a, a lock chest? I want to find a lock chest. Lizard spotted. What does eight? One, two, three, four. I'm gonna squeeze like all the luck I possibly can out of these fuckos. God damn, does a bit too much damage there. Thank you, Skink. You have actually uh, been a great help to me. Kaboom. Billy Mays here with Kaboom. I just know that if I throw out the uh, small key, that I will, uh... The, the next chest is going to be a... Uh, Stupid goddamn thing. I'm throwing away the poultice. I've never gotten value out of that. Take a dice because uh, it lets me reroll the relics if I don't like them. This is a damage buff. Eh. Wait, is this a weapon? Yeah, this is a weapon. This would be really good with bomb stone. <laughs> right, maybe I should throw out the lucky ring. I've been making my own luck rather well. <laughs> With a lucky shiv, but yeah. Alright, lock chest time. No, it's not a lock chest. Shove shield. Still not good. Unchanged. Why is the first arrow in each row to the right? One cost energy this turn. So the composite bow is free. That's interesting. That has actually made it probably really good. Ah, amethyst, yes. That's a really good find. Alright. Obviously want to put that like that. Hmm. The alloy is... This is not easy to find a space for. I, I guess I could just do this. I miss out on the damage on... Uh, I miss out on the damage on the lucky shiv, but... God damn, there's like some delay. The whole bunch of junk. Uh, it does uh, give Jagged Blade more damage. And alright, we we're ready to fight the boss. I'm, I'm never gonna use like any of these healing items. That's a problem with me, I never heal. Because I feel like I don't need to. To be fair though, I was a... Uh, I was trying to use the poultice that I kept for, like, the entirety of the game. I just use the T to heal. Yeah, I need inventory space. 
Also, this boss is one of the reasons why I say if you have AoE, just go to this area. It makes this fight so easy. Eight. Eighteen. Luck literally doesn't matter for this fight. Because it's a boss fight. I, I even had dodge still. One, two, three, and kill with luck just for the hell of it. There was no, like, better relics. This item is heavy. On take damage, each turn effects are applied again. Really? Let me think about that for a second. And by me saying that, that was me an excuse to, like, finish my tea. So, this works with Archangel Wings. Actually, no, it doesn't, because that disables the item. This works for... Angel Wings, which is the armor version. This works for, uh... What else does this work for? This works for probably a whole bunch that I'm forgetting instantly. Which makes me a, an idiot, but... This has potential with anything that damages you very easily. Hey, maybe this is why they reworked Stopwatch, so you couldn't do that. When combat ends, select a common item to be duplicated. What? I'm guessing you'd do that with dice. I don't know what other common item you'd want to duplicate. Maybe a bunch of shoe hats. That would be pretty funny. Hey, you could do it with bricks, I guess. Bricks are common. Hmm. I feel you get this a bit too late to uh, actually make use of that. For every five open spaces, gets one energy. Each turn adds zero energy. This is still not very good. I, I, can you, like, make this item good? Because it's never been good. Uh, Coral has always been kind of good because of shield synergy shit. And uh, Barbell... Barbell was niche, but very powerful when it did work. So yeah, let's uh, reroll. It's the loot box again. Whenever a status effect is removed, add burn equal to the amount removed. This effect applies to everyone. What? That doesn't seem very good. Because enemies don't clear their statuses. When is the status effect is removed? Is this like how you use cleansing bomb? Like you stack up a bunch of useless debuffs on enemies or some... I, I don't see how this is better because uh, original cleansing flame was... It, original Cleansing Flame had niche uses, but it was very good when it did work. Like, it made Cleaver builds able to kill, like, Blade Master very easily. This is a new item, too. Cannot be placed in the same space twice. Each turn adds one energy. When combat ends, removed from backpack. Okay, I get this. It, uh... Like, you place it in your inventory, and then combat ends, and it cannot be placed back in the exact same space when you put it back in. That is kind of interesting. Hmm. That could work, but it does require you to specifically move around your thing. Let's, uh, let's use the loot box. See how that works. Maybe I can just generate a whole bunch of zero energy things. I feel like there's some crazy zany combo you can do with loot box plus spring gem. Yeah, and maybe I should have waited a bit longer to... Actually, no. I was going to say, maybe I should have waited a, a longer to finish the fight to get more healing. And it's like, yeah, plus one healing you could potentially get, Spartan. You pedantic prick. Spiky club. This get nerfed. Why did you nerf this item? This item wasn't even that good. It adds one slow to enemy. I swear it was like two or three slow. It still wasn't very good because like no enemies gain block. I I don't see this reversal amulet being ever like ever good. This should be all hazards. Electric wand is the same. Double halberd is the same. Why does the icon show it going uh, horizontally, but it's a vertical item? 
that matters with Tosk. I guess they all do that. Also, Frozen Heart is the other uh, one where you want AoE with. I, the longer I play this game, the more I think Frozen Heart is easier than Magma Core. That's probably because they nerfed Polar Bears. Polar Bears used to be the fucking thing that ends your run, but not anymore. They, uh... They, I wouldn't say they suck, but they are definitely weaker than they were before. I don't feel like I really need uh, too much luck on these runs. Speaking of luck, let's use this. Oh hey, it's, a, it's an add to inventory so you can move it around. Hey, free King Cleaver ain't bad. Whenever an item is destroyed. So does that mean... Bear with me. Yep, okay, you can get free items from hazards. That's uh, pretty funny. Why is the Jagged Blade, like, r glowing red? Why is that? Uh, there's probably some secret status effect that's going on that I don't know of. Nah, I don't want that. Ace Cleaver. Damn, it's a, it's a bit late to be doing a Cleaver build, don't you think? I mean, it, it's worth a shit ton. By shit ton, I mean like 17 gold. Not that much, but eh. This has not been changed either. You know, I'm honestly fine with a whole bunch of stuff not being changed, because the good items, they're good for a reason. Dynamite. I can use that to blow up my uh, Jagged Blade, get a new weapon. One rage to melee weapon. Okay, Jagged Blade. Why does it... Why can you not hover over what uh, weapon to see the stats on them? That is a... Uh, that sounds like a blunder of an update. Maybe that's n unintentional. Alright. One, two, three, four... And we're dealing huge amounts at 21? Oh yeah, I do have triple rage. A new sound effect as well. Let's see if I can get like a gem or something like that. As a shuriken. Oh yeah, disabled for one turn. Uh -uh. Genius at work here, by the way. I got five block. This gives. <laughs> Not five block. Okay, thank you, Tusk. It's the Moth Bomb. Moth Bomb is kind of good. I like it. It's not particularly good, so uh, ignore what I said first. I just wanted to give it a compliment before I uh, ignored it. It's the Lance. Lance is uh, also very good. Lance Monaco. I'm considering throwing this away, it's because I, I I don't see myself using it. The thing is, I want to see if they change the event where you give the uh, the rat bastard a uh, relic and he gives you a legendary item. I want to see if that changed to... Uh, he actually gives you a legendary item. I'm mean, not a legendary item, a, a relic. Spartan has such a way with words, doesn't he? This is why I'm a an avid subscriber. Yeah, the game is uh, slowing down. Slowing down, are we? But yeah, uh, since Polar Bear does not throw uh, two ice blocks down at you at the same time, he's not really as dangerous as he once was. Oh yeah, that's a thing. Hey, token of energy. Uh, I'll probably take that. Next level up is uh, coming soon. There's also a luck potion. Do I have a key with me? I kind of threw them all out. <laughs> I 
Okay, what's the boss? It is that dude who is... I never really got his gimmick. Like, he summons a bunch of idiots and he throws down some static at you, but he's not actually that dangerous. Crab cactus. Okay. These have all been unchanged. That's fine. I don't need anything, I mean, not anything, everything to be changed. Yeah, there's, there's definitely some chugging going on here. Do I have my animation speed still set to max? Yeah, it is. Eh. Yeah, yeah, I don't need my... You know what, I don't need the breastplate. Like, at all. You can't beat me. Uh, at all. Keg. Alright. Uh, what else do I put down here? Oh yeah, here. So I can do that and I can move this here. Finally get the uh, more damage. Token of energy gives me one energy. Yes. Dowsing Rod destroys itself, so that will give me an item. Letter. I like letter, but it's just not uh, good for this build. So sad. In reality, the reason that I'm... Oh wait, another smoke dagger? Do I take this? I think I have like everything I need. So I probably don't need a... Uh, lucky Shiv. Smoke dagger is a straight up a higher damage output too. Yeah. I do like the frozen hammer. It's not too good, but it's fun. Like, it is... It absolutely sucks against AoE. Like, this comp destroys it. Holy shit, black mana stone. <laughs> okay, that, that is worth it. Oh, I want to do something funny here. You know what, I didn't need to do that much. Because I forget, it, it chain reactions upon, like, giving itself rage. It's a pouch. I wish I had one of these earlier. These things are so powerful. Like, your run can be defined by how many you get. I could also pivot into a mana build now that I have those. Cleansing Rod, the Brick Arrow, structure to the right, okay, that has been changed. I think it was each adjacent structure, but kind of sucked. Yeah, don't sell the, don't sell the pouch. Unless you have a, unless you filled it with curses, in which case, yes, sell the pouch. Because uh, then it removes all curses from your inventory. Pouches are just generally overpowered. <laughs> Yeah, that is really slow now for some reason. Hmm. Well, I can't gain more luck, but I don't really need it. Ethereal whetstone. All right, this is. This, I think this is the last item I can sell. No, I can sell one more. But, like, this is the last floor, so uh, any money I make is useless unless, uh... Yeah. Unless I get good forges, which I, I didn't really get. Like, burn, haste to structures, and regen to a ring. Like, I have a... you know what, fine. If any fights last longer than one turn, I can heal one point of HP. Three, four, five. Double smoke dagger. Hey, the fight actually lasted that long. Alright, let's open a loot box. Garbage. Uh, 
as the plasma sword. Plasma sword would be good if I could rotate it. Unfortunately, I cannot. Kind of weird that there's two merchants here. Alright, there you go. See you again soon. Nah, I'll never see you again. That was terrible. I'm never coming back here. Oh, look. Speaking of loot boxes. That was fun. It's Ultra Knight, the fucking... The absolute weakest victim to the Jagged Blade. Also, I like how there was stuff down there, but it was, a uh, Garbage that got deleted because of, a uh, time limit. Cursed Blade. I like how it says none have succeeded, but... Nowadays, you can actually run a Cursed Blade build because, uh... Curses don't instantly destroy you. What was this? This was food for a cleaver. I didn't even check it, but I just... I don't care. I could have done a cleaver build, in theory, this run, but uh, the Jagged Blade drop was too much of a uh, good thing. Oh, this dude has 800 HP now, Jesus. Okay, yeah, he got buffed. God damn, it's so slow. Eh, it doesn't matter. I could really organize and get a dice. Yeah, why is it dice, not die? Because it's, it's just one of them. Unless you change the icon to be uh, multiple. But yeah, it's, uh, it's Jova. GG Farcia, you uh, kind of suck. That's just kind of my catchphrase when you think about it. It's just GG something, you kind of suck. Let's do this for no apparent reason. So, uh, yeah, the, this is the thing that I saw that made me, like, instantly stop Windmill. NG carries between turns. Which, it should say NG carries over between turns. But, Windmill finally is back to two size, which is what it was uh, originally. And then they nerfed it to, uh, not, doesn't produce energy on the first turn, then uh, you produce energy every turn afterwards. And then they just changed it to energy every turn, but it was three size, and now it's this, and I'll probably never pick it because of it. There's Barbell, and then there's Gemvana. You are invincible. On take damage, select an item to be destroyed. That sounds like a lot of fun. Like, especially with the loot box thing. Like, you are invincible. Damn, th th I, I really want to do a build with this thing now. <laughs> like, Matthew gives you a start with Gem of Anna. You are invincible. Th th there has to be some cheesy way to do this. Like, I can I can see loot box just generating infinite garbage, but... Yeah, this... Okay, th th this relic update... I'm guessing that's just what I'll call this. The relic update... Really fun. Kind of wish Alloy was a bit better. I wish I had the opportunity to swap it out for a, uh, a thing, a uh, item, see if it would work, but I'll archive that at some point. Decide to start again for a new challenge. Oh, God damn it! I was supposed to go to the thing before the thing ended. Oh, well. Uh, game. Yeah. Let's uh, load a different file I have. Uh, let's, let's load a really old file. Yeah, let's load this one, see if any of the items in my immediate inventory on this run change. What run was this? This is definitely a me run, since I'm using Jagged Blade. Jagged Blade, okay, or... Free adjacent gem, plus three damage. Oh, no, the items are not changed, because it's... A previous update? 
I'll have to open the, the thing now. Right. I'm going to jump cut a bit around here in case I find anything that's particularly interesting. So I will be right back. Okay, that's something that I didn't even need to jump cut for. Archangel armor is a legendary now. That's honestly fair. This was kind of one of the best uh, armors in the game. Okay, so that's what it does. It just turns into a stronger block item. Also, it's apparently called Bowblade. Good, good on you, tragic comedy shield. And Wizard Cap is still absolute trash. Like, devs, if you watch these videos, just change this item. It's, it, like, no one's going to choose it. The like, reg removes one energy is uh, too steep of a cost. Also, you can't even keep it with you because it, like... Yeah. Ugh. Okay, Belt of Knives. When you use five items, deal five damage to all enemies. It is significantly worse than it was originally. But I guess it probably carries over between fights. Eh. Probably a way to beat some challenges that require you to not take weapons. Okay, Bomb Stone is no longer destroys all weapons, so this is probably a, a lot easier to use. This is probably uh, just how you use the dynamite to just deal 100 damage to all enemies. It's one of those stupid movie roundy items as well. Each turn for each energy removes one energy, adds three mana. Oh, that's a pure mana build. That is, that is, not very good. If you end your turn with zero block, adds one energy. If you end your turn with zero block, or is that that should be like start your turn with zero remaining block? Because this only then works with if you are taking a whole bunch of damage, or if like enemies don't attend to attack. So, uh, I don't know about that, Chief. Not gonna bother with Toad's things because they suck. Okay, reorganizing is free for, uh, this thing. This was already a, uh, weird relic. I guess it got better. But the thing was that this only, uh, really kicked ass in endless mode where you could get two of them and then reorganize gave you energy. I don't know if that still works, but if it does, then... Yeah, pretty good. Uh, I, I was expecting this to happen. I just knew that Shield Spirit was going to be absolutely destroyed. Because Shield Spirit was the best relic in the game. There is, there's no denying it. it was, Shield Spirit was just completely busted and broken. Uh, if in, So in case this video was seen like years later on in the future, Shield Spirit used to be... Whenever you use a shield, all... Adjacent weapons are used and then they gain uh, minus one damage for the rest of combat. It was completely busted uh, You could use it to use like four maybe even actually no, I think four weapons at once is the maximum you can do but Yeah, uh, I guess it was too powerful. Keep half your block next turn is uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's I Don't know if this will uh, keep up chief but maybe it, it, it does give you something every turn, I guess. When an item is destroyed, adds one energy, disable for one turn. Okay, it's just a weird loot box that gives energy. Spring Jam, Stopwatch, and that's all. Yeah. Could have sworn there's more relics. I mean, it does say 30 out of 35. Maybe they added more, I just haven't seen. I mean, we did see the Ember Shard, which is uh, completely new. We did see the uh, loot box. Oh yeah, I forgot to look at orcs. I saw it before. Ugh. For every 40 gold gets 1 energy each turn, adds 0 energy. On take damage, minus 3 gold. This actually sounds like an item for me. Considering that I uh, tend to hoard gold. And by the time that I've uh, spent and obtained like as much gold as I can. Then uh, this, this won't be an issue. It probably snowballs with uh, taking damage gives minus gold. But eh. Probably, uh, probably really good. I, I take it. Alright. Well, that's the end of this video. Yeah, look at look, look at this cursed inventory. I'm surprised it even works. I'm surprised it will even load. But yeah. I will see you guys in the next video. What will it be? I'll try to make something special for uh, video 1000 on the channel, but regardless, I'll catch you then. Goodbye.